Welcome back to another One Chart Lesson. Today we're doing a great song by The Falls called Birch Tree. It's um, an interesting song. I like it a lot. I wanted to do a lesson for it because of this great riff that goes through it. It's just a guitar riff that kind of goes all throughout the song. And you heard it at the start. I've looped over the little guitar, the high guitar riff that the, uh, that the singer does as well. Um, well, there's another guitarist that might do that, that riff as well. At any rate, here it is. It's all on your tab. The chords are kind of nice and interesting voicings as well, so let's go through it. The riff here is on the A and the D strings. If you start with your third finger and you slide up to that um, ninth fret on the A string, which is an F sharp, slide up to that, and then with your first finger, you grab the A note, which is the seventh fret on the D string. So ninth fret A, seventh fret D, down and up alternately or you can do what I'm doing which is thumb on the A string finger on the D string do that those six notes then move down to your second finger moves down to the seventh fret A string and your first finger stays on the D string on the sixth fret so it just drops down one fret so you go Take that shape, move it down another two frets. Slide it right back up after four notes. After six notes. And there's a lot of sliding going on here. So you can slide it, you can, you can just move it cleanly, but I, I think the slides sound nice. So slide it back up to seven and six. Come back up to where you started from on the ninth fret on the A string. Hammer on and come off from the 7th to the ninth fret on the D string. And go straight down to the 6th fret. Back down through those two positions. And you finish up on the 2nd fret A string and open D string. So it sounds like this, I'll do it slowly. continues throughout the song sometimes he does the hammer bit at the start of the riff instead of the second time through but mix it up listen for it in the song if you want to do it exactly like they do I don't think they do it exactly the same way when they do it live each and every time either as long as you get those notes and that riff down it's a great sounding riff and it goes throughout the verses the chords that sit under those verses are F sharp minor E D sus2 over a B, which is a really nice chord voicing. It's that one. I'll put a little picture up so you can see it. Back to E, and then F sharp minor. If you do this with your strumming hand as your bass kind of rhythm pattern, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E. I'm not going to spell out that rhythm absolutely. I might put a diagram up for it. So if you want to follow that precisely, you can. But what I like to get people to do is just kind of feel the timing of that song and if you've got that motion going with your right hand or with your strumming hand then whenever you hit the strings is going to be good and you can kind of play it loose and you can you can vary that rhythm and it doesn't lock you into trying to follow a down down up up down down up kind of pattern which um let's face it is a little bit restrictive and doesn't allow you to play the song with a relaxed and natural rhythm so that's your verses it's also the chorus when the chorus comes in just before the chorus which is the same verse same chords as the verse it plays this little high riff which you heard me do at the start with the loop pedal it's this that's the first half the second half
that's the second bit. So, and again, like, like they vary it and don't do it the same way every single time, it doesn't follow that pattern of this one first, this one second, every single time, but that's the general pattern. And I've just put the general patterns down here to give you a guide to get you into this song. After that pattern plays through, then you do the chorus. And then after the chorus, we're back into a verse. Now the verse, again, still F sharp minor, E, D sus 2 over B, back to E, back to F sharp minor. Follow that, that um, pattern through for the verses. You do that a total of three times. And on the fourth time through that line, it drops down to the next line on your chart and it goes, um, second verse into the chorus. The chorus is the same again. You do that, uh, I think it's a double chorus there, and then we go into that drum break where there's four bars of nothing but drums. Then in this section where it goes ooh, we start on D, play an F sharp minor, but don't play the bottom string, don't play your root note. Make the lowest note in that chord a C sharp. So you're playing an F sharp minor over C sharp. Go down to a B, stay there for an extra two beats, come back up to this F sharp minor over C sharp, and then do it again. Then we go into, it's like a pre-chorus, it's kind of like a chorus, but the chords change ever so slightly. If you're not paying attention, you could be forgiven for thinking that the chords are just the same as the chorus at the start, near the start, it goes F sharp minor, E, D, E. And that's your pattern for the chorus. Do that line through six times and then we're into this, um, the riff to take us out, that. And it ends on that note, right? That note. That's the song. Birch Tree by Foles, hope you like it. If you've got any questions, shoot me a message. I'll try and help you out if I can. But if you've got a loop pedal, Try and mess around putting those loops together and, and, and even layering the chords underneath it as well. It's great fun. Thanks for watching. See you here again next time.